art was the center of Ralph Becerra's life. He started his career as a student, faculty, and head of the ceramics department at Chouinard Art Institute. From the beginning, Ralph was a purist. For 14 years, he was the head of the ceramics department at Otis. His mentors were Vivica and Otto Haino. His early pieces were in stoneware. He was influenced by Japanese Imari through blue and white painting and adding decorative overglaze colors. Ralph was influenced by Kandinsky's movement, by Yalinsky's use of color, by M.C. Escher's optical complexities, Creating his own authentic voice of three-dimensional paintings, he was a master of glaze techniques that resulted in sublime surface ornamentation. Teapots, sculpture, and vessels speak a story of attention to detail, knowledge of materials, and original vision. Ralph wanted me to see it in my way. It was great because he made me see me. One thing about Ralph was that he was a, he, he was sort of like the original Nike commercial, just do it. You don't sit around and whine about it, just go do it again. Ralph's Becerra's legacy is seen through the success of his Chouinard and Otis students who developed their own unique voices. They all demonstrate impeccable craftsmanship handling of glazes and purity of form. They know their material, reflecting the high standards, soul, and spirit of Ralph Becerra. Many are ceramic instructors who are passing the ceramic baton to future generations. Now when I put the piece in the kill, I don't see it as a white or a gray. I see it as a finished product. You always have to think at the end, not, it's sort of fun to, to go through all the stages because they all have different, uh, they all give me different sort of, of, sort of feelings. But I always have to keep in mind that the end product is the most important. So when it comes out of that kill, it should look like what, it's in, what was in my head. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, and that's the magic. 